So when the immune system is not working as well and tends to work against the insulin making cells, even when the sugar is normal, you can diagnose this with certain tests such as antibody tests. Um, and if in such individuals there is an illness that can worsen the sugar in these people. So that could be an explanation for one for why type 1 diabetes might be diagnosed after COVID. That these are individuals who were already predisposed. This individual is predisposed to abnormal glucose characteristics, abnormal glucose regulation, and then severe COVID happens there. That's going to accelerate the progression from this state towards a more uncontrolled state. It appears now uh, is that people with diabetes seem to develop more severe COVID disease. It's not that people with diabetes are more prone to COVID, but if they develop COVID, the, the disease is much more severe and seems to progress quicker. Um, so that seems to happen both with type 2 and type 1 diabetes. Rigorous attention to all the primary preventive measures that we use, so mask wearing, social distancing, hand washing, I think those things continue to be relevant and will continue to be relevant for quite some time yet. We are still in the middle of the pandemic. I think a second issue would be physical fitness, doing whatever they can given the limitations that we have, making sure that they adhere to all the guidelines of what to do safely indoors and outdoors uh, and therefore work on improving physical fitness. Clearly uh, physical activity is an important component of every day and adds to our fitness and therefore our ability to withstand every severe illness. Uh, so that's a second component. And then the third component would be uh, if, if they do fall sick to seek attention early. And then the fourth component is the vaccine. 